Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today we're going to be having a look at a couple of cool products from ASUS, including the U3, the Zonar Zents, and the Zonar Essence 1. And this is going to be treated as more of an overview of the different audio sources that you can use for your listening enjoyment and how they compare to each other, especially as the price starts to ramp up like this. <laughs> Now, in terms of hardware solutions for audio, anything is better than onboard. Whether we're talking a notebook or a desktop, anything is better than onboard with only a couple of very rare exceptions. So let's talk about the other solutions that are available. You got your USB headsets, so those are using USB sound cards, or you have something like a Zonar U3, which includes not only a USB sound card, but also a headphone amplifier. So these are gonna be better than onboard, and even with something like this, maybe even better than an entry-level sound card, but they are not really ideal for desktop users. Great for notebook users, because you can't exactly install a PCIe card in your notebook, but for desktops, let's talk sound cards. Even an entry-level sound card is going to absolutely blow apart any onboard solution. This isn't an entry-level sound card, however. So an entry-level sound card, I mean anything in the $20 to $60 range. This is a $100 plus dollar sound card. A high-end sound card has the higher overall build quality, the better design, which gives you cleaner audio, and a lot of them are now also adding headphone amps. So as you start to get into higher-end audio solutions, the impedance or the amount of power required to drive your headphones goes up dramatically. So you're going to get higher overall build quality with better components and a headphone amp, which means with your high-end headphones, you're going to have a better pairing and you're going to get a better overall experience. Now let's talk the very high end. So for something like an HG800 from Sennheiser, what do you need to drive that? Some people go crazy extreme and they get like a dedicated tube amp and then the high end DAC that is a digital to analog converter. But we're looking at what I would consider to be more of a value extreme high end solution. So the Essence One from ASUS is kind of a neat solution because it is both a DAC as well as a headphone amplifier. It features 8x upsampling, 120 decibel sound to noise ratio, swappable op amp, so you can actually color the sound in almost any way that you want, a variety of different inputs, and it comes at the value price of only, <laughs> it's still very expensive, so let's just leave it at that, but as far as Slick and I are concerned, it's the best audio solution we've ever heard with any of our headphones, bar none. So guys, the hardware is a limiting factor, but if you're playing back your crappy iTunes MP3s, no offense to iTunes, um, the reality of it is you're going to run into the limits of your actual audio before you run into the limits of what the hardware can deliver to your ears. So this site was really cool. If you just search for this thread name, it's on archive.org, and it has a bunch of different classical music in a variety of formats, including FLAC, WAV, and low and high quality MP3s. So this was great for helping us to evaluate our audio solutions and find out when we were running into the limits of our audio file, get it, audio file, and when we were running into the limits of the hardware we were using. Now first I want to disclaim this by saying neither Slick nor I are really audiophiles in the sense that we spend a ton of money on audio solutions, but we are both definitely enthusiasts and have a fairly range, a wide range of experience with sort of 200 and 250 and down solutions. So consider this an experienced layman's perspective on all of this. So which was the big winner? Duh. It was the Essence One with the HD800 headphones. <laughs> The Essence One's got a lot of cool features, including stuff that I would never use, like the swappable op amps, the upsampling, although that's something that I might use, a variety of different inputs, as well as the capability, just through the sheer power of the dedicated onboard power supply, of being able to turn up the volume, even with high impedance headphones, to just ear-shatteringly loud levels. In terms of inputs, you've got right and left unbalanced and balanced inputs. You've got digital audio in, USB, as well as your power, and so what does all of that mean? It means that on anything higher end than your sort of run-of-the-mill gaming headset, you can tell the difference even stepping up from a high-end solution like an amplified sound card to the Essence One. Is it a huge step up? Hard to say. If you're looking for the ultimate solution, you're gonna pair it with something appropriate like the HD800s, then yes, it absolutely 
absolutely is better than everything else here, especially with high quality audio files. So yeah, not everyone wants to spend a couple thousand dollars on their audio solution for their computer. So what do you, what happens if you step down? Honestly, going from the HD800s with the Essence 1 down to HD555s, I know these are an older model, but they should still be fairly comparable to a lot of things on the market now, and something like a Zonar Zents, this is an amplified sound card, you know what? Yes, you can tell. You can tell immediately, but it is still a very satisfying listening experience, and you don't necessarily have to spend all of that cash. Now, as you continue to work your way down, the jumps in decreasing audio quality start to become much bigger. As you go from your amplified sound card and high quality headphones to your non-amplified sound card and middle of the road headphones, you're gonna see a big fall in terms of audio quality, although you won't notice it nearly as much with a lower quality audio files. And then as you step down from there to your gaming headphones and your USB or your onboard solutions, now you're down into what I would consider to be sort of the, the very, very low end. So the, pretty much the conclusion is, does everyone need these? No. If you think you need them and you have the money for them, like go ahead, you'll definitely have the bragging rights and I can personally vouch for the listening experience being better than anything else we've tested here. But is it a good value? Hard to say. The Essence One is kind of uniquely positioned as well because compared to a dedicated DAC and a dedicated high-end amp, it's actually a very good value. But compared to something like a sound card, all of a sudden it starts to look expensive. So pretty much if you don't already know you need one, you probably don't need one, but it was very cool to spend some time with this equipment and get to play with it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of MCIX Tech Tips and don't forget to subscribe.